Yeah, th there's nothing like like skating down the ice and you got uh, Graves beside you, and the next thing you know, you turn around and there's Dennis Marouk or you know Todd Warner chasing you down and lifting your stick and taking the puck away, which was very easy for them. <laughs> yeah, man, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, to see the ease that they play with, but you know what? This none of this was about the hockey. You should see these guys in the change room. They are such amazing people. That's Marty McSorley's Stanley Cup ring from Edmonton in 1988 when he played for the Oilers. The question is, why do you have it? <laughs> well, I arranged Marty's air flights to get in, so I was on the phone with him about 45 minutes the other week. And so when he got here, he said I should guard his ring all day. So what I've been doing is taking it around, letting people try it on, and you know, the kids and everything else. And it's really brought a lot of smiles to people. And Marty McSorley is such a great guy. He's, I mean, truly a professional and really caring person. Well, I, I think when an NHL player is sitting there uh, telling some stories that, you know, give people a little glimpse into the years playing, right? You know, behind the scenes and stuff in the locker room. And more often than not, the NHL players talk about the guys they played with, the experiences that they had. Uh, a lot less on the ice it's more off the ice and, and the great people that we played with you know for me it was so great for me the team that I was able to play on in Edmonton and have the fortune of being able to win and, and have success while I played and my dad wore the ring up until he had passed away and I bring it now to charity events and a lot of people get a chance to see it and be a part of it and get a sense of what it would be like to be on an NHL team with a really great group of people and you know when you come to a charity event like this it really is a great group of people that are really doing a great cause leaving a great footprint and making a huge impression so if you know I'm telling a few NHL stories bringing my ring trying to have a good solid presence here uh, is really important for me and you know I, I think we're doing some good things here so when they do find a cure for cancer I can stand up and say you know I was a part of it